to uh, Striker Hunts group up in Ambly. BF111 is going to be with us just in just a few moments' time. Uh, of course, uh, you're talking about the training here. That training really does show out with the RAAF. But ladies and gentlemen, from your left, the F111. Deep turns in the sea hole. 
steep turn for the L39. And now the F111 going faster, so you can take you out more ground in the maximum range. stealth aeroplanes creating its own stealth by the ability to penetrate at very low level and to keep very close to the terrain with that terrain following radar. Yeah, able to go in excess of twice the speed of sound. So you'll see the aircraft and then a number of seconds later you'll hear the, uh, the crack of the uh, sonic boom pass. Another interesting design feature of the F-111, and I think he's going to uh, show us it uh, directly. It's, uh, it was built originally to take off from carriers and land from carriers, so it has a very rugged undercarriage. When it uh, wants to uh, go out and uh, slow the gear, it, uh, the air brake is also the, the gear door, so there's no actual restriction on uh, airspeed restriction on when you can open the, uh, the undercarriage and extend the undercarriage. It, uh, it flops out, big wheels are all folded up like a... Um, cramming stuff into a, uh, a lady's handbag that you think would be too big, but they go into such a small space. Now you'll be uh, coming around. The, the, um, the Concorde was in a uh, sweep wing aeroplane that uh, was really good at high speed, not so good at low speed, whereas the F-111 is the best of both worlds. This is how the first uh, Dumbled Bird was discovered. One of the aircraft that the first year to do the landing.